Uh, I am, uh, this is the first time I've ever run for any kind of office uh, at any, for anything. Uh, never, being governor of Texas never was on my bucket list. And uh, I got into this because a year ago during the presidential campaign, I saw the same kind of stuff that you guys saw. I mean, you had two major parties up there saying your candidate is worse than our candidate. And, uh, you know, a Republican just not just can't continue like this kind of thing. Uh, last year, I was a uh, Bernie Sanders delegate to the state Democratic Convention. I love Bernie. Um, wish he could have gone farther with it. But uh, anyway, things are what they are. Uh, I've been uh, pretty active in Democratic politics for about 10 years now. I've been a precinct uh, chairman in Houston, Southwest Houston, where I live. I've been an election judge and uh, been pretty, pretty active. Uh, being active, a uh, grassroots kind of guy, I've got to meet uh, a whole lot of uh, officials and candidates, and uh, you know some of those people are pretty sharp. Some of them are uh, not so sharp. At any rate, I, I figure, shucks, I can do this as well as any of them. <laughs> so here I am. Uh, I just came from Austin. I just drove up from Austin. And about three hours ago, filed the paperwork. I am an official candidate. I will be here. <laughs> Today's a big day for me. So uh, we got that done. And uh, I'm, just, I'm starting from scratch. Uh, I'm a grassroots guy once again. I'm putting together a team of people who really want to make a change uh, in Austin and further into. Uh, and that's why I like coming to a, you know, a bunch of college people like you, because uh, there are too many old fuddy duddies in my age group that they're just, you know, they're they're comfortable. They're just sitting around and and going with the flow, and that flow is not going to take us anywhere anymore. Uh, it's, it's time to change. So, um, I haven't done too many of these speeches. Uh, I'll start out with a couple things. A big theme in my campaign will be to remember who we are. I mean, folks, we are Texas. We used to be the pioneers. We did the biggest and the best, and we're the first to do all kinds of stuff. We built the first dome stadium. The first integrated circuit was built in Texas. We got the biggest medical center in the world. We got the biggest inland port, uh, and it's all—I mean, that's who we are. But it's not who we have become recently. Uh, I say recently; it's been uh, 22 years now since a Democrat was elected to a statewide office. 22 years. You guys aren't even that old, are you? <laughs> You've never been in a, a state with a, you know, a Democratic governor or lieutenant governor. That's crazy. Uh, so anyway, um, that's one of my themes, uh, to remember who we are and that we can once again be the leaders. We can be the, you know, the, uh, the risk takers and the people who can get out there and do big things first. Uh, second theme in my campaign is to once again, we are going to learn about unconditional love. People have forgotten about that. All the great religions preach it on Sunday morning, but Monday to Saturday, uh, we don't always live it. Uh, again, I live in Houston. We had a big old hurricane and uh, flooding that came through then. I mean, many of you guys, were any of you guys flooded? Were you? Just a little bit. What part of Texas do you live in? I live in Independence Heights, which is north of the city. Yeah. Um, you folks doing okay? Is FEMA? We're doing well. Uh, my mom got some flooding, but she's all right. Okay. Somebody, I saw another hand over here. Yeah, I live in Kingwood. Mm. Pardon me? I live in Kingwood. Kingwood? Yeah, you guys got flooded good, didn't you? Yeah. Um, it's terrible. Uh, it, it's an awful thing. Uh, I think they said. I mean, I don't know how many thousands of people were flooded. They said a half million vehicles were, were flooded, plus all the buildings and everything. Uh, I didn't mean to get started on all that. What I wanted to point out was all the uh, first responders 
and the uh, volunteers who came out to help rescue people. I mean, these people came out of nowhere. Some of them drive hundreds or even a thousand miles to come and help rescue strangers, people they'd never met, and uh, you know, put themselves at risk. And uh, you know, why do people do that? It's because we're Texans and we take care of one another. But that's what I call unconditional love. I'm not going to. I mean, I mentioned religions talk about it. I'm not here to convert anybody except to try to remind us. And all through this campaign, if I win the election for the next four years, I'm going to be beating people over the head, <laughs> telling them that we got to remember to take care of one another. Now, that sense of community and shared experience, uh, we got we got to bring that back again. Uh, What's next? What's next on my list, Alex? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> um, 